In this episode of Roach Reflections, I want to talk about record roach. There haven't been many British record roach over the past 100 and odd years. The first sort of record roach that we recognised properly was Wilf Cutting's £3.10 fish caught way back in uh, 1917 from Hornsey Mere, which is in East Yorkshire, not far from Hull. Prior to that, there had been one or two three pound roach. They were very, very rare. But Hornsey Mere came into the uh, forefront of big roach fishing around about 1915. Fishing was from boats and it was discovered that by fishing lobworms, people could catch very, very big roach. And there were some tremendous catches for a short time. And it never really regained its uh, fame after that. There were two pound roach on and off over many years, but... Its heyday was at 1915 to about 1920. Of course, fish were killed back then, so if they got to a big size, they were only caught once and they were set up. The next real monster was uh, Bill Penny's 1938 fish of 314, which became the new record. He caught another one over three pounds the same day and those fish were set up again. Bill Penny was one of the greatest roach anglers of all time. He caught a tremendous number of very big roach. He specialised in catching them from various London reservoirs. He made his own rods to cope with the depth there and fished with bread on the bottom. And the reservoirs used to be treated with copper sulphate to kill the weed blooms in there. And that killed the food for the roach. As a result, two or three weeks later, the roach fishing was often excellent, sort of around about September every year. And Bill knew about that and took advantage. As is often the case on reservoirs, it was there was a ban on using ground bait, but Bill used to just mould a little bit of ground bait around one of the shot on his float and lower it in carefully and claim he wasn't doing any, any harm. <laughs> he was a bit of a crafty old beggar. But like I say, one of the truly great roach anglers, I think he had five over three pounds. I've seen one of the rods that he made up. It wasn't the one he used to catch his record, which I think was a 16 footer, but this was a 19 foot rod, which was made partly from a 10 foot split cane rod. And the rest of it was made from the lower part of a roach pole. So it made quite a beast of a rod, but it gave him that reach to fish in the depths of the reservoir. In 1964, Bert Brown equaled Bill Penny's record, but it does seem that it, the fish was a roach rod hybrid. Dick Walker protested quite loudly and in print about it. The fish was dissected and the pharyngeal teeth were examined, but it comes down to a mat matter of opinion at that point. But the photos I've seen of the fish indicate that there's a good possibility there's rudd involved there. So that became the equal record at 314. There was a, a bit of a false start in 1973. Someone caught a fish from, I think, the River Chew that feeds into Chew Reservoir near Bristol. 314 and a half. I've only ever seen a black and white picture of it, but it was described as having a strange orange hue and it quickly became apparent that it wasn't a roach at all, it was a golden orf. And instead of becoming a record roach, because the fish was killed, it became the first record orf, golden orf. That record got beaten, it's more than double that now, I think it's over eight pounds for the record, but it shows how bad anglers can be in identifying fish. The next record was caught by a Richard Jones from Nottingham area. 4-1 in 1975. This one's a bit of a funny one. There, there are no witnesses to the capture. That's the first thing to note. Secondly, the fish seem to have died overnight, which seems a little bit odd. Thirdly, that year, anyone catching a record fish won some phenomenal prizes, including, I think, £5,000 in cash and a speedboat worth 
1250. Interesting. And the fish was spawn bound. What actually happened? I could speculate. I'm not going to say, but let's just say that the water it came from had no record whatsoever of producing big roach. It's in the records. It's no longer a record. We'll have to leave that down to history. A genuine record though that did come along was Ray Clark's fantastic four pound three roach, which was caught from the Dorset Stour in October, 1990. At that time, around about 1989, 1990, the Dorset Stour had some absolutely colossal roach in it. I saw a couple of these in August, 1990, in the new weir at Throop, fish that were well over three and a half pounds. What I didn't know is that at Sturminster Newton down to Corfe Mullen, which is very close to where I live, and it could be said that the swim that this fish was caught from is the nearest bit of the Dorset Stour to where I live, this stretch had some incredibly big roach over three pounds, three and a half pounds, and four pounds. There was another four pounder caught. Ray's fish weighed four pound three. It was witnessed by Terry Lampard. You couldn't get a better witness than that. It was carefully weighed. The photos show a fish that is 100% pure roach. There's not one ounce of doubt about that fish, about its weight, about its parentage. A truly phenomenal fish. Ray said at the time that it was his first ever two pounder, but they found his scales were weighing a little bit light and he'd actually had a 115 fish a week before or so that should have weighed over two pounds. So it was sort of his second two pounder and he, he'd gone there with the intention of catching a two pound roach. So uh, he blew that one out of the water. Since then, we've got a record that came from Northern Ireland that was accepted on the basis, and these are the exact words of the biologist because I was there, it's probably a roach. That's all I'm going to say on that one. And there was also a fish caught by a guy called Mike Brown from a, a still water in, I believe it's Essex, of four pound five ounces, that almost certainly was a roach, but because it had a damaged mouth, the people checking it out couldn't be 100% sure that it was a roach. And that one, they declined to accept it as a record, but it probably should be the record at £4.5. So you can see that record roach have been very, very few and far between. To me, we've had accepted three genuine English fish over the years, in over 100 years. So they're that rare. Will there ever be another record? Possibly. There are one or two waters that produced four pounders like Lynch Hill in the past. These waters go through cycles. There's an absolute monster at Wareham at the moment that's uh, well over three and a half pounds. Could it ever go well over four pounds? Probably not, but you never know. Could there be another monster lurking in there? Possibly. Could the Hampshire Avon finally find a massive roach. There's a chance now. The wick now the weeds come back. Roach have been sowed widely in the Avon, and uh, there was a fish caught. It's not that far off. Twenty years ago now, I think that was three twelve, three fifteen, and three fifteen and a half. Same fish, never quite made it to four pounds. So there's a chance that those monsters could come back in the Avon and maybe go over four pounds and maybe even make at the right time four and a quarter pounds who knows that would be nice wouldn't it the weed cutting stopped over 10 years ago i think it's making a difference to the size of the roach there's uh, roach up to three and a half pounds being caught this season in the avon another three pounders just maybe in the next decade everything lines up just right a good strong year class some good growing conditions, plenty of food, maybe an Avon record. Who That would be nice. 
that's about all I've got to say on records. If you ever catch a record roach, take a scale sample, get someone to witness you taking the scale sample, make sure it is kept safely in a hook packet or something, that you keep track of it, and a DNA test can be done. I'm not sure of the current cost of it, but if you've got the scale, it could, the test can be done. If you haven't got the scale, you can't do it retrospectively. The fish will regrow the scale, it takes a little while, a few weeks. Please click like and subscribe, gradually building up the subscriber base. Doing quite well at the moment. And uh, that's it for this one, so cheerio for now.